Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. And never you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for all the Dutch people. Happy King's Day. And yes, I'm going to celebrate King's Day today in Arnhem. So see you in Arnhem. Not wearing this shirt. I have the special King's Day Bitcoin shirt. And I will show you that one in Arnhem. I will also be giving away a few of these shirts in Arnhem. So if you see me in Arnhem, then uh, say, hey, Didi, give me a shirt. Now, um, three amazing shirts. I'm going to show you something very bullish, but also very bearish. So that you really have to make up your own mind at the moment. But um, let's jump into the first one to... Um, give you some good feelings as well. This is the first one. This is the beautiful um, uh, four hour chart on the TradingView platform. You can see the Bam Bam indicator, which is the combination of uh, the one in the top screen, the middle screen and the bottom here. Um, and this one tells you when to buy and when to sell. So <clears throat> for example here, this is a short flag on this candle. It's closing down below the yellow stepping line. So that's the moment you need to sell because you see the red area pushing downwards. You see uh, the yellow and the blue starting and you see the bam bam on the bottom crossing. So if you would have sold that one on the four hour, let's say over there, um, you would now be in a 2.8% uh, profit without leverage. Now, <clears throat> the integrated Fibonacci tells us and if this was the bottom, we could bounce back all the way to the 39k uh, level, uh, it, which is over here, um, or even to the 40k level, which is over there. But then first, we need to see this yellow disappear. We need to see a green flag like this one. And we see the bam bam crossing that white line. So that is what we are looking for now to enter along. Because we are at the bottom again of one of the support lines of the logarithmic growth curve, like you can see back in the past this line the 14.5 was a support line now we dropped through that line now we are on the next one it's a nine percent support line on the fibonacci so uh, we need to hold this one because if you fall to the bottom that one is a 33k we don't want to see that at least i don't want to see that at the moment it's king's day come on bitcoin it's orange now bam over here now we zoom out to the day chart <clears throat> now the day chart hmm is telling us something else as well you know we were moving in that pattern that we have been tracking all the way from january and now uh, we broke that pattern a few days ago so do we need to freak out on the day chart now we are still in that green box that box of support but this candle is going down below it the body is going to close in 18 hours so we still have enough time to close this day candle in the green box like you can see to the left Often we closed, uh, we, we wicked down below the green box and we went into it. Now, if we look at those wicks, the two deepest wicks were this one, this one, this one, and that one. And in these wicks, we still saw uh, a higher low, like not even if you, if you can call it official like that, but these wicks were a little bit higher every time. So if we would pull that line from uh, the bodies, to those wicks just to get an indication where we could wick to uh, these levels would be 37400 and then we would still be uh, moving inside the pattern but again we need to come above that line again to be fully in the pattern and that uh, needs uh, bitcoin to go above 40k so uh, day chart that is what i see the bam bam indicator is yellowish and we need to uh, become greenish uh, to become bullish, the Bam Bam indicator is at a level of 37, which is really low. Uh, the signal line is pointing downwards. We need to crawl up and cross that white line. And that white line then can move it back to the levels of uh, 77, like here. So we are at a very low level, which also indicates that the reversal could come soon. And that is also what you can see in the RSI. Bottom went out here at that level of 30. Um, every time we come below the 30, we can fall a little bit deeper to the 18, but that will also mean there will be a time we go up again. And that is exactly what Bitcoin does. It goes up and it goes down. <clears throat> and if you don't have the time to trade all of this, then please go to the bitcoinfamily.com, click on products and check the Bitcoin Family Pro work. Just check what it does for you. It makes you 3 to 4% a month. It's not a shitload of profit, but it's uh, uh, if you accumulate it, it's like 36 to 40% a year, which is a lot of profit and you don't need to worry. You have hands off and the bots trade for you. 
Also, if you want to trade yourself, then use the links to sign up to these exchanges because you can get bonuses up to $4,000 and even $5,000. Um, so use the links, you know, it's, it's free trading money you buy it you get even a 30 percent fee discount on trading and you get access to the free bit launch pad which is really awesome because today for example apex is launching on that bit launch pad uh, apex i made a video yesterday about but you don't really like those videos because it was only thousand views um, and <clears throat> to be very clear i'm going to make my face a little bit bigger these videos about apex they don't pay me to make that video I invested in this company because I believe that the centralized exchange will be the future. So I'm not shilling such a product because they give me $500 or $10,000. That is not who I am. I see the future of the trading industry and that needs to be decentralized. And this is an exchange that makes it possible for you to trade from your wallet with leverage without having to send your Bitcoins to an exchange. So um, if you don't like to watch those things, then don't watch them. But in my opinion, you're skipping some important part. Now, let's quickly jump into another really cool um, chart and that are these bam um so this chart is a bearish one guys at least some people think it's bearish and some people think it's uh, also a little bit bullish i will tell you why the video will become a little bit longer again excuse me now <clears throat> every time we see this cross of that uh, blue and the black line over here uh, after that the blue and the black line start to curl downwards that is this, this is a downward slope and from that moment that we curl downwards, the first time we had a 54% dip. The second time that happened, first the cross, then the curl down, we had a 51% dip. And this is now the third time we had a cross, uh, we had a cross and a slope turning down. Um, how far will we go? Will we fall 50% to 20k? And that is also the 200 weekly moving average at the moment, uh, which is no uh, coincidence, of course. But um, we also need to check this one, for example. There we did cross and the slopes went down, but the price increased tremendously to the upside. So it doesn't always play out like that. Um, plus, if you zoom in, you see first this blue of top, where there's a huge uh, difference between the blue and the black line. Uh, we see the same over here. The huge difference between the blue and the black line before the cross. And um, that's my beautiful wife walking behind me. And here we don't have that huge difference between the blue and the black line. So I think it's a little bit different because the market is shifting. And that is what you can see on this chart. On this chart, you can see um, the Bitcoin short term uh, and the long term hodl cost based. Now, on this bus cost base, we can see two situations that are the same this one you can see there and that one because if you look at the, the long-term hollow cost base this is the dotted line the gray one we went up we fell down and then we bounced so this area the dots went up we fell down to this yellow support line let's call it like that and then we bounced the only other time in history this happened is now we went up we fell down and now we should be bouncing then because if you look at the divergence it's the same divergence that we have seen over there look this price movement while this one goes up and down and here the same price movement while this one goes up and down and then we had a huge bam and that is that market of 2013 2014 and if you remember the views in the beginning of the year we said many times what if we repeat now the 2013-14 market? Maybe this is a different bull cycle, the current one, than the last one, but maybe it's more like that one. And it seems now that these signs are telling us that. So yes, there is bullish signs and there is bearish signs. Uh, we just need to be patient and to see what plays out. But if we look at the history of Bitcoin, and we get into the last chart now, um, in the history of Bitcoin, um, this is how it has played out. This chart is made, by the way, by Charles BTC over there, my good friend. Now, the history of Bitcoin showed us a beautiful return of investment of uh, CAGR, as they call it here, um, of 150% in average a year. So, if we continue that 150% in average in year from 2023 to 2033, which is 10 years, uh, then we won't end up with a price of uh, yeah, 379 million US dollar uh, per Bitcoin.
If we would though perform a little bit less, like 75% every year, then we would end up in a price of 10.7 million Bitcoin. If we would only do 45% a year, then we would be very conservative and then we would end up at a Bitcoin price of 1.6 million uh, US dollar. On my presentations in the Netherlands, I'm sharing an even more clear chart. So if you want to see that one, then come to the presentations. Uh, men, uh, well, well, the first me is Arnhem, fifth me is Venlo, then we have 10 me in Roden. You can even sleep there. I'm giving away a ticket to be uh, f sleeping there for free. And then the 19th may in rotterdam so there i will talk a little bit more about the future of bitcoin as well but in average if we could make 45 percent a year we would even end up at 1.6 million and i can tell you if we make 50 percent a year in average then we would have 1 million already by 2030 so that's really cool number so you need to always bam zoom out in bitcoin and you need to zoom in at life that's why i did these do these presentations i teach people to have their capital working for them while they are doing fun stuff and zooming in on life and the bots are zooming in on the charts where you can zoom out of these charts now um, that was everything for today uh, i hope you really enjoyed the information if you did enjoy the information give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification and leave a comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about the bitcoin growth in the future uh, do you want to buy the dip or do you want to sell the house like just my sister is selling her house now and uh, yes she will go also in bitcoin my brother already sold his house uh, he is doing the passing in first of july and then he will also go into bitcoin it is just trusting that bitcoin will go up all the way to that one million dollar so just huddle a huge part trade a huge part and live a very nice freedom life because of that maybe a strange idea but uh, i have seen someone doing it before and he succeeded now <laughs> thanks for watching and see you next time again guys bam